doing um, a new submission that I've been working on from side mount. Uh, we're just start regular side mount. I'm here, I'm gonna block off his hip. Okay, actually this, I'm gonna do it on this side. <clears throat> Blocking off his hip here, I'm gonna walk around. As I walk around, this elbow's gonna stay tight to his body. So as I come around, it's gonna come up and I'm gonna trap his arm in front of his face, right here. Okay, I'm gonna grab a gable grip and my palm, my uh, thumb's gonna be up, just like this. Okay, from here, he's on his back, I want him on his shoulder, so I'm gonna kinda pick him up on his shoulder right here. When you put pressure on the guy's shoulder, a lot of times they turn into you, so you won't even need to worry about that, but if he's not, pick him up on his shoulder. I'm gonna slide the bony part of my forearm back onto his neck right here. So I had kind of a deep, deep grip here. I'm gonna slide it back. Right here, I'm gonna move my knees up towards his head. And I'm gonna bring this leg over the back of his head here. Okay, now from here, my right knee is gonna jump through. And I'm gonna go to his back. Now my arm's still around his neck, legs on the back of his head. Squeeze right there. So we're here, my chest is on his chest, blocking off of his blocking his hip off so he can't he can't follow me when I spin around. And here, going around, it's important that I keep my elbow tight to his body. Okay, because as I'm going around, I want it to slide up and I want it to catch that arm. Right in front of his face here. Okay, now he's flat on his back. I'm gonna pick him up on his side, slide my grip back. Okay. Get that bony part right on his neck. Now from here, legs coming over, hopping the right knee all the way through. And I have pressure with my shin and my squeeze here. 